Welcome everyone to a cutscene! This is another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, we have returned after the first boss to uh, this place, the Temple of Time. And uh, Sheik here wants to have a little chat with us. So uh, we must become more powerful. Woohoo! And uh, basically, she's gonna... He, whatever. Um, is gonna teach us the song to bring us back here. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. That's not how time travel works. At all. That's not how it works. Just letting you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a basically teleportation song, because you get a lot of teleportation. Each one takes you to a different area. But this one is, of course, the Prelude of Light. Uh, I think this one is pretty upbeat compared to other ones. It's, it's not a bad song at all. Yeah, there you go, Sam. You got it. Where did this background music come from? It's like, that's not... That wouldn't happen. <laughs> at all. Also, I like the fact that Navi somehow came with us. Like, I almost forgot she was actually with us for a while, but... And, oh, there we go. I wish they would come out with a, <laughs> a remake of Ocarina of Time, but everything is voice acted. But since Link doesn't actually say anything, everything that Link sees like, oh, look at the enemy! That's a, that's all Navi, right? So I just want to hear it like a voice like... Like, I don't know. Um, Gilbert Godfrey, I think? Because he talks! Like, he, like he's like really nasally. Like, I can't even do it. Um, I, I have... I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get... I'm going to go blind if I actually talk to Sheik for too long. But it's okay. So over here, uh, we're at the Goron City. And we're going to blow up this guy right here. Shit. We're going to blow him up. <laughs> there we go. Saved like 20 minutes for you right there. How could you do this to me? You, you, your Ganondorf servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am one of box here of the Gorons. No, you're not. I'm one of box. It's like, wait, what? What? Thanks for the dramatic pause, Sam. Go ahead and click the A button to continue on the text. Okay. There's my recording narcolepsy, I guess. Just, oh, I woke up again. That's good. But yeah, so this is Darunia's son. They somehow, he, his, Darunia somehow had sex with someone. And now he has a kid named One-Up Box. <laughs> I need to proof watch these more closely, to be honest. What the hell's going on? Like, it's not even the fact that I'm, like, bothered that I didn't catch this in editing. I'm more bothered how- what was I doing? Hmm. I was probably actually browsing Reddit, to be honest. And I forgot that I was supposed to be pressing the A button. That happens. Like, uh, like I said before, this game, it's okay, but it's definitely- it doesn't hold my attention very well. So, uh, I have ideas for future stuff. Um, and you basically talk to him about stuff. Eh. So he's talking about an evil dragon named Volvagia, which is pretty cool. The dragon ate Gorons. So they eat rocks, and then Volvagia ate Gorons who ate rocks. So it's like the circle of life, I think. All, all we have to do is have rocks eat Volvagia, and we'll be good. But, uh, yeah, so this game doesn't really hold my attention very well, but I have ideas. Because I got, spoiler, Luigi's Mansion. So I'll probably start recording that soon. I have ideas for what I want to do with it, and I think it might be interesting. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, faux show, I uh, also got a Super Nintendo. I don't know why I said faux show. I am not a gangster or cool, so I probably shouldn't uh, use that phrase. Um, you know what's up, my heezy? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a, like a very out of tune with... Uh, kids these days, sort of old man trying to talk the lingo or something like that. Not like it matters. So we got the red tunic, which lets us actually stay in the, the uh, um, cavern. Yeah, well, in, in the 
you'll see in a second. We'll be there. Basically, it's heat resistant, so we can walk on uh, lava for one thing. That's pretty cool. And uh, we can stay inside the mountain for extended period of times without have actually dying, which is awesome. So, uh, be forewarned, this place is uh, very stupid. Also, I was very confused actually what I'm supposed to do here. You're supposed to grab it from the front. I was like, I thought you had to push him from the side. Oh well. So yeah, this will take us into, what is it called? I forgot the name. Death Mountain Crater. There you go. I was thinking something with the mountain. Couldn't remember what. That's what it is. Usually if you come in here without uh, the Goron tunic, then you're screwed because you'll get like a timer for like 40 seconds, and if 40 seconds goes out, you die. Uh, and oh look, we just saw Sheik earlier in the episode. There she is again. He. Damn it. <laughs> I can't ever call him her by the correct pronoun because I already know the truth that it's Zelda. Again, spoiler. <laughs> but, ugh, not like it matters. I, I do have ideas, though, for stuff I want to do. I like, I, I like always putting it in the vaguest way possible. It's like, I have possible thoughts about things that might be a thing. Also, I like this song a lot. The Bolero of Fire. I don't know. Is this a Cheerio? Bolero? Whatever. <laughs> Every time I hear and watch myself try to do the music, it's like pretty painful because I'm like... <laughs> I could just imagine myself doing it. <laughs> it's like... Stop it. It's like the shitty uh, um, 20th Century Fox or whatever... Um, <laughs> intro, but on like a recorder, uh, or flute, you know, you gotta look it up. Look up, uh, I could look it up right now. That's for all I care. Um, flute 20th Century Fox. Yeah. The video is just called 20th Century Fox Flute Original. It's really good. Like, it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I want to watch it right now, but I shouldn't. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. <laughs> um, because there's not only that, but also another one. This is why I probably should try to talk about stuff instead of actually just, like, BSing and talking about YouTube videos. There's another one. It's um the Jurassic Park theme on a harmonica. And it's actually sort of awesome. In the same sort of shitty, enjoyable way. So this place uh, is a little bit different than Dodongo's Cavern. It's much more... How, what's the word? Um, I don't know. It's much more... Um, I'm trying to think of a good term. Civilized in a way? Because it, it, it was made by the Gorons. Because it's a temple, not a cavern. So there'll be a lot of different actual structures instead of just random crap we have to walk on. I want to have a man man talk with you, but now's not the time. Oh, you. I like it, though, because Dar Dar Darunia is uh, a descendant of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you can tell by his hair. What the hell's going on with that thing over there? Yep. All of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. Basically, this is Desolation of Smog. After the book, before the movie. Because I'm pretty sure Desolation of Smog. I mean, Hobbit, you know. Uh, came out way back in the day. I'll figure that out. Um, The Hobbit. Not a video game. Uh, uh, there we go. 1937. Holy shit! How old is J.R. Tolkien? Tolkien? Is he? Is he already dead? Yeah, he's already dead. I don't know why I'm surprised, but like, I never bothered to look that up until right now. He died back in 1973. That's a long time ago. Damn. Well, okay. But yeah, Hobbit. Long time ago. Doesn't matter though, this game totally, like, did it first, you know? Not at all. So, uh, this... What was it? I think the. I, I feel like. To someone at least. It's probably interesting to know how long it, this temple took me. All in all, it took me. I think an hour and a half. 
because at one point I was looking for bombs and I played a little bit of where in the world is Carmen San Diego but instead of Carmen San Diego it's bombs or where's Waldo with bombs or where the hell is anything but with bombs because there's no bombs in this temple I am damn sure I looked I killed the bats I broke pots I tried everything couldn't find a bomb anywhere. I had to go outside and actually buy some from the store that we saw earlier. It was BS. AKA bombs? Sort of. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to come up with some acronym for BS on the fly, but it didn't work. Hmm. I guess my commentary is barely sensible. Boom! There we go. Did it. Awesome. Huh. Sorry, I was reading the Wikipedia page, page for J.R.R. Tolkien. I don't know why I'm even bothering, because that's not really relevant to the current game at hand. Maybe if we're playing, like, The, the Lord of the Rings Lego, a game I've considered, uh, maybe. But currently, no. Speaking of which, the Lego... Uh, movie, the actual Lego movie comes out uh, the 7th of February, so a week into February. I am looking forward to that so good. Like, mm, I want to watch that. It looks hilarious. Like, they got, they got Gandalf and Batman and, like, the classic uh, pilot or whatever. Just a bunch of good stuff. I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like, I never thought I'd be, like, hyped for a... for a Lego movie. Same thing, like, I'm I'm actually sort of looking forward to the, uh... the Muppets movie. I wouldn't have said that, like, two years ago, because I never thought about that, but, yeah, I don't know. I got confused here. I was thinking of something different. Uh, in future games, I believe... at least Twilight Princess, you can climb underneath stuff like that. I think. But, uh, not in this one. So, uh... I was losing my mind there. So what you're supposed to do, actually, is on the outside, you can hookshot to the fence, and you can climb up that way, or you can do what I do and cheese it. <laughs> it's like, let's line this up. It's perfect, right? I love cheesing it like this. It's like, you're not supposed to really do it this way. I mean, you sort of can, but you shouldn't. It's perfect. And you can see a shadow on stuff that isn't there. It's perfect. No bombs anywhere. So yeah, the little secret of this room is you just gotta push that block onto the geyser. It's, uh, I don't know. So, past the, uh, sec or I feel like... Well, for the, the, the sh not shout out, I'm sorry. The, um, for, uh, forest temple. That one was... Uh, it was okay. Also, right there, um, I needed a key! So I went back to the main room with all the lava and the uh, ropes and stuff, and oh look, a key! In that chest. Uh, the forest one is okay. I feel like, um, out of all of them, the forest would be... Eh, it's alright. The... This one, the Death Mountain Temple, whatever, is slightly better. Um, and then the Water Temple takes a big dip in how much I like it. And then they sort of do okay with the last three being, uh, the Shadow Temple, the, uh, whatever you call it, the, um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, sorry. Uh, the Shadow Temple, oh, and then the, the Desert Temple, I don't know what temple name that is, actually. And it was this little maze full of boulders. Eh. It's okay. You basically gotta traverse it and find stuff. So I'll be finding stuff in this one. Uh, I, I cut out a lot of it because a lot of it is just random running back and forth. It's not very interesting. The idea is you have to get all the way around and get a, unlock a bunch of Gorons to get some keys. And they tell you secrets about stuff, but whatever. Uh, um, and then Ganon's t t uh, tower is... or castle? Tower, castle, same thing. Uh, Ganon's place is a bit of a dungeon, but yeah, I'm sorry, honestly, though. Um, I, this game is not my favorite. Like, everybody loves it, 
and I'm like, I agree, but when you play back, there's no enjoyment for me, because it's like going through the motions. Difference for me is like, for, um, it feels very linear. Even though you can choose to go different areas, you're always going to have one set path, because you, roughly, I'm sure it changes for some dungeons that are actually different paths, but like with Water Temple, you, like you really should follow a guide. I didn't. I used one to help me through, but I didn't use it directly, which was a mistake. Because it's really like, you go here, you get this key, you move the water, you get this key, you unlock the door, you get the item, you get the key, door, key, key, door, special item for the place, key, duh, duh, duh. it's like, mmm, it pisses me off. Like, I just don't like it. I don't, no, yeah, you do. Do you? Yes. No. Yeah. I'm trying to think, do you get an item inside of the water temple? I don't know. But this game is not my favorite, honestly. Um, I'd much rather replay Banjo-Kazooie than I would this game or Major. or no, sorry, Majora's Mask, I would replay. Um, I would not replay Super Mario 64, opposed to what people say. Everybody's like, that game is amazing! Beep, 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 beep. No, I hate you, and you're stupid, stop talking to me. <sighs> I'm sorry. Like, I love watching it. I love watching, uh, for example, what is his name? I'm, ha I'm drawing a blank. Um, one second. Siglemic. That's the speedrunner. Uh, cool guy. I like him. I think he uh, has a hard time with streaming mo most recently because people always, like, harass him in his chat, even though they're supposed to be, like, wishing him a good job, or, or, wishing, or like, hoping he does a good job and stuff like that, but people are assholes. But yeah, Siglemic, I love watching him, especially at uh, AGD, or AGDQ, Awesome Dames Done Quick, which happened here in January recently. And, uh, whenever he appears at there, or Summer Games Done Quick, which is in summer, same thing. Uh, you should actually look those up if you haven't. They're really cool stuff. They do speedruns, or, those two events are events where a bunch of speedruns get together, and they speedrun a bunch of games and collect donations for charity. This most recent one, they managed to pass a million dollars. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll look that up to be sure. But... It was, yep, it hit a million dollars, um, this, like, at the beginning of January. It's pretty cool. Like, you get a lot of cool stuff to watch, and people donate for awesome causes. That's awesome. Playing a lot of the games, though, not awesome. Watching be speedrun? I'll take it. So, like, same thing, like, uh, I'll, anytime I'll watch a, uh, a Mega Man X, I'll watch, I'll watch a Super Mario 64, I'll watch some of the shittier games, even, but playing them? Eh. Just, they don't do it for me. Same thing, actually, with Wind Waker, because Wind Waker HD, though, might be different, because they did refine it a bit and might be more enjoyable, but at least the original doesn't do it for me. Like, some of those games, like, as good as they are... I just can't replay them, because it's just... I, I don't get the enjoyment out. But, uh... I don't know. Mm, but yeah, I, I was correct, though. AGDQ 2014. That happened earlier here in January. Won... Or, not won, but raised over a million dollars. Holy shit. Apparently, they did get actually $70,000 in that last hour. Give or take. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's just, I love speedrunning. I love, uh... I love it, because it's like, you take a... a, a nor sometimes a shitty game, sometimes a meh game, and by, like, glitches, or just, like, how you go about it, it becomes a really cool spectacle. And, like, you get some commentators talking and describing what's going on. Makes for a real good show. <sighs> Sorry, but I feel like I'm not making that real good show because this game, I'm just playing it. So that's why, for future stuff, I have ideas. Not me, that doesn't mean I'm going to try to start speedrunning anything because I don't think I can. Um, I'm not exactly built for it, and it takes a lot of practice. A lot of practice to be able to properly speedrun a game 
to actually like make it up on, uh, make up uh, make it up on a list of people who actually have or you know like a leaderboard for that game for example also i like to check every fire barrier by running my face into them to make sure that there's fire there or not <sighs> it's pretty stupid but i was actually stuck in this area before i got the key for a good hour i think maybe 40 minutes no fun right <laughs> definitely not speedrun material so uh yeah i'm sorry <laughs> if this let's play does come off as either rushed or boring but that's because it's not eh, it's not that fun of a game to me so i don't know i have a hard time with it um that's why when i edit these i try to make it as quick and as enjoyable as possible by making it so i don't have to suffer so you don't have to suffer because i'm sure like if you wanted to watch a walkthrough you could i mean i might do a walkthrough in the future but this isn't one of them <laughs> or this isn't one i want to but uh i don't like this though right here pisses me off because i was like oh sh i can't run there oh not there maybe oh no it's already out so the best thing i found is just find your path it's real literally right there so it's like take a turn go straight and then press the button so yeah you know that you know quick tidbit there you go um i don't think up until now you've seen it but there are fake doors this uh, door up here is actually one of them see fake door i hate it I want to kill it. Throw a bomb at it. Boom! There's a real door. Awesome. Also, uh, this mini boss fight is really stupid and I hate it and uh, no. So I don't want to uh, fight it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. There we go. Oh look, it's dead! That was easy. That's what I'm talking about. That fight? Eight minutes. It's bullshit. <laughs> Not eight minutes, probably. It's more like three. But, like, it's just so tedious. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not blaming you if you would like to watch it, but I don't see why anybody would want to sit through a whole fight like that. And there's two of them in this damn place. What? That's, that is weird and dumb, and I hate it. Mm, but anyways... Huh? Oh my god, yes. Alright, sorry. I just realized that there's a video I need to watch. I'm gonna watch that <laughs> later. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, this game, though, not too great. Megs on Hammer, though, is excellent. It's muy bueno. Also, that kill that thing. Awesome. Managed to actually dodge it this time. That's what you should do. Instead of dying, you should jump backwards. It looks like I'm holding a bomb on my head. <laughs> like a like a decorative hat. But, uh, yeah, that little boss fight there is, uh, not, not really boss fight, but look, bombs! I've been looking for everywhere for bombs, and I just now find them. Mm. But all that was so we could hit this rusted thing. And now we have the boss key. That's all I was going for, honestly. Um, and, like, it's an interesting concept showing the boss key or the, the the door that needs the boss key early on but like it's annoying to me but yeah oh well um this fight though is interesting i like it it's a glorified game of whack-a-mole also right there i was showing you you could actually climb the walls or the the sides they actually count as climbable sort of walls i guess um, that is very useful because, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, the combo walls are actually very important because the subterranean lava dragon, Volvagia, uh, will drop a bunch of rocks, and the rocks are e evil, so you want to back off a little and hide there, so I do that a lot, actually, it works out, you'd be surprised. So here's the idea, whack-a-mole, just beat him up. Yeah, you want to actually hit him in the nose, not in the head. That's why I was a little confused. So yeah, 
the fight ri really just consists of you uh, waiting till he comes up. Seeing what he does, he's gonna pop his head up, but that's when you destroy him. Bombs do nothing, and they're useless. So I don't know why I tried using them. But yeah, it's just whack-a-mole, to be honest. I think I do it a bit better this time. Now yeah, see, there you go. And then, just do a lot of spins. That's how you get damage done. Um, but because... Because I don't know how to sync with it properly, I'm pretty sure it's possible to do it in one go, in one phase, whatever. But right here, this is what you want to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible for the rocks to fall on you while you're on the side, but at least this way you'll avoid any rocks ever. And once they disappear, you're good. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm uh, slowly dying because <laughs> I need some water. Much better. So yeah. Uh, this fight, it's okay. Like, I like it better. I like it a lot better than um the f the. No, actually, I, I'm, I was gonna say I like it better than the uh, uh force temple. I actually like the force temple a little bit more than this one. Good concept. Um. It's like Forest Temple, and then this one, and then I hate the Water Temple, and Shadow Temple is cool, but I messed up when I recorded that, so you'll see soon enough. Um, and then actually, I don't remember what the fight for the in the Desert Temple is, but I, I can't remember right now. I'm sure it'll be like, oh, that's what it was, but I just don't know. So yeah, um... I'm gonna go ahead and skip a little. Oh look, he's on the ground, and killing blow. There we go. See, all oh, easy, good, good. Everybody's dead. <laughs> that fight is again a little bit tedious. I feel like all the Ocarina of Time fights suffer from that. The um, I mean all Zelda fights in general, but like I feel they do a little bit better later on with uh, with the the other ones. Cause with Wind Waker, it feels like you could go your own pace in a way. Except for a couple of them, but for the most part, it feels like you could go at your own pace, which I like that a lot. I like it when boss fights can be done really, really quickly if you just do it correctly. Um, not when you have to go through a phase and just wait and wait and basically just gotta wait until they let you win. So, uh, yeah, I feel like they do a little bit better in um, Majora's Mask compared to this one, at least. Because I'm thinking about it, the... Um, the mountain one, they did. The water one, they did. The grass one, sort of. I mean, it was really competitive, so like, you're like one on one fighting them. Uh, also, I like this. Oh, everything's like beautiful and nice now, which is very cool. And then the uh, very last one, the desert one. Eh, like in um in uh, Majora's Mask, it was uh, very meh because you had to wear a a giant mask. Or a mask that made you giant. And that made for a, a bleh of a fight. Because it was like you had to have a bunch of magic. And it was crap. But other three though, awesome. Here, very few that I actually like really like. I like all three of those in Majora's Mask. I don't know if I said the same thing when I was actually playing through them. Because sometimes I get angry while I play them. But who knows. Anyways, Darunia. Definitely my favorite sage. Because he's a bro. Literally, we're brothers. <laughs> like, It's a thing we did. But uh, he's a nice guy, Goron. A, a guy on, you know? Nice guy, Ron. So he's going to give us this medallion, which, uh, I mean, another medallion. Or another thing. He already gave us a, a stone. Now he's going to give us a medallion. That's pretty neato. And now we have uh, three we have the light, we have the fire, and we have the grass. All I need to do is get electric, maybe a bit of a water, maybe a ground type, and I'll have a whole Pokemon team. We'll be perfect. Anyways, that's about it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed me hating the game ever so more every day. But don't forget, me and him are true brothers. That's right. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Goodbye.